Want to learn Korean anywhere, anytime? Get the Innovative Language 101 app for free. KoreanClass101.com, Hana Hana Hangul Series의 Amy입니다. Hi everybody, I'm Amy, and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul and KoreanClass101.com, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. If you've ever wanted to sing Korean songs, write a letter in Korean, be able to get around in Korea, or just jumpstart your Korean learning, you're in the right place even if you're an absolute beginner to Korean. By the time you're done with this series, you'll be able to read and write Hangul like a pro. And you'll get a feel for Korean culture and learn some vocabulary at the same time. We will start by covering the 10 vowels and 14 consonants of written Korean. As you learn these components, you will also get plenty of practice writing and reading them with example words. Then we will talk about double consonants and vowels, the pachim, and the pronunciation rules that will help you speak like a native. By the end of this series, you will be able to understand the language on a whole new level and have completed an important milestone in mastering Korean. Hana Hana means step by step in Korean. And that's just how we're going to tackle the hunger. Just watch these videos, review what you've learned using the resources on koreanclass101.com. And you're on your way to mastering Hangul. We will start with some very good news. Hangul is easy. For one thing, it has much fewer characters than, say, Japanese or Chinese. There are only 24. We use these 24 characters in different combinations to form syllables. Each block of characters equals one syllable. Here's an important rule you need to know about these blocks. Each block needs at least one consonant and one vowel. You will see what we mean when we start to look at some characters. In Hangul, there are 10 vowels and 14 consonants. Today, you will learn two of the vowels and one consonant. Are you ready? Your first vowel is E. 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 This is pretty easy, right? Practice writing this character as you say the pronunciation out loud. As you say this simple sound, it might surprise you to know that you're actually saying a Korean word. This word means teeth. E. So how would you write this word? Like this? Nope. Remember the rule we mentioned earlier? Every block needs at least one consonant and one vowel. But in this case of E, there is no consonant, so instead we put a placeholder. The circle called an ion acts as a placeholder for the consonant. So whenever you have a vowel on its own, this placeholder comes before it. Draw the E vowel to the right of the placeholder. So when you want to write the word E, or the syllable E, in the middle of another word, this is how you would write it. Pretty easy so far, right? Now if you take the last character and add a short stroke to the right side, it becomes your second vowel, A. Ah. 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 As you practice the pronunciation, try to associate the sound with the character. Writing it while saying it really helps. Pop quiz! With what you know so far, try to figure out how to write this Korean word. A E. Once more, A E. This is the character you just learned followed by the first character you learned today. Remember what we learned about the placeholders? You need to put the placeholder circles next to each vowel sound when they stand on their own. And that's how you write AI, which is the Korean word for child. AI. Are you starting to get the hang of it? You've just finished your first Hangul lesson, and you've learned three of the 24 basic characters. In the next lesson, you will learn three more. 
Keep taking it hana hana step by step and keep practicing with the koreanclass101.com. You will be surprised how fast you master Korean writing. 여러분 다음에 만나요. <목소리> 안녕하세요 여러분. koreanclass101.com 하나 하나 한글 시리즈의 에이미입니다. Hi everyone, I'm Amy and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul on KoreanClass101.com. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. You're off to a great start on your Korean language journey. Just take this lesson step by step. Make sure you review after each one, and soon you will be reading Korean like a pro. Here's a great way to review what you've learned. Look at some actual Korean writing. You may not know the meanings or most of the characters, but practice recognizing what you have learned. After each lesson, you'll recognize a little bit more. Today, you're going to learn three more vowels. Let's get started. First, here are the characters you learned in the last lesson. A, E, and Eun. Your next character looks pretty similar, so pay attention to the differences. A. Uh, listen carefully to the pronunciation. Uh, uh. Now pay attention to these two characters. It might be easy to confuse the two. If the small strokes is on the left, it is A. Uh. Uh, uh. If it is on the right, it is A. Uh. Uh. Ah, if you can remember this one point, the rest of this lesson will be easy. The next character is this, ya. Listen carefully to the pronunciation. Ya. Ya. This sound has a lot in common with the last character sound, doesn't it? The only difference is the Y sound in ya. The second short stroke will add a Y sound. You will see this pattern pop up again in the next character. So if this is A, what would this character be? Can you guess? The answer is Ya. 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 The second short stroke will add a Y sound. Take a look at these four similar characters together. O. O. A. A. Yo. Yo. Ya. Ya. Can you remember these characters? Here are a few vocabulary words to practice. Can you read this word? This is ya, which is an informal way to say hey in Korean. You might hear this word in Korean drama or songs. Ya. How about this? This is aya, which means ouch. Great job! You made it through another lesson. And now know half of the vowels in Korean. Keep practicing, and soon we will be able to read Korean quickly and naturally. Remember this from the beginning of the lesson? After just three more vowels, you should be able to recognize much more of it. Try to recognize these characters in some real-life Korean around you. In the next lesson, you will learn the rest of the vowels. In the meantime, keep reviewing what you've learned, and I'll see you later. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요. 안녕하세요 여러분. KoreanClass101.com 하나 하나 한글 시리즈의 에이미입니다. Hi everyone, I'm Amy, and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul and KoreanClass101.com, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In this lesson, you will finish up the Korean vowels. With a solid understanding of the 10 vowel sounds, pronouncing Korean will become really easy. So make sure to review until you feel completely confident. Compare these five new vowels to the five you already know. What's the obvious difference? The answer is that the vowels we learned before all have a long vertical stroke, and these new vowels have a long horizontal stroke. In fact, 
if you rotated the first five vowels, you would end up with the new vowels we're going to learn today. When writing syllables in Korean, it's important to think about whether the vowel you're using is a tall vowel or a fat vowel. The reason is that the way you assemble the characters into blocks will change depending on the shape of the vowel. For example, you know what to do when the vowel is tall, right? You add the consonant to the left of the vowel. But if the vowel is fat, you would add the consonant on top. Think about it like this. You need to fill up a square so the consonant adjusts to fill the rest of the space. Here is your first fat vowel, O. 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 Here's a good way to remember this one. The small stroke is over the long stroke. O. Flip that character over and you get the next vowel, U. 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 You can remember this pronunciation by thinking of the small stroke being under the large stroke. How about some vocabulary words? Can you read this word? This is ui, which means cucumber. How about this word? This is yau, which means fox. You now know four vowels that are made from a long stroke and a short stroke. Take a look at them together. From the top going clockwise, you have O, U, A, A, U, U, O, O. When you add another short stroke, a Y sound is added to the front of these sounds. Add another short stroke to O, and it becomes Yo. 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 Likewise, take U and add another short stroke and it becomes you. 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 Can you read these four vowels now? Counterclockwise from the top. Yo. 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 You. You. Ya. Ya. One more. U. Uh, uh. The shape of this vowel actually resembles the shape of your mouth when you say it. Now for some example words, can you read this? This is uyu, which means milk. And this? This is yo. It's a formal sentence ending particle. You put it at the end of a sentence to make it polite. For example, uyuyo. How about this word? It's iyu, which means reason. There you go. You've just learned all the basic vowels in Korean. These vowels will appear in every single syllable of Korean. So the more you know them now, the easier future lessons will be. In the next lesson, you will start learning consonant sounds. This is where your Korean ability will really start to take off. So be sure to watch the next lesson at koreanclass101.com. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요. <laughs> 안녕하세요 여러분, koreanclass101.com 하나하나 한글 시리즈의 에이미입니다. Hi everybody, I'm Amy and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul and KoreanClass101.com The fastest, easiest and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In this lesson, you'll begin to add the consonants to the 10 vowels you've already learned. By the end, you'll be able to read and write 40 different syllables, which will unlock many more Korean words. Ready for your first consonant? Here it is, Kia. When making syllables, the consonant goes where the circle from the last lessons used to go. Can you guess how these are read? Ki. Ki. 
ค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่ะค่
na, which means I or me. Second is no, which is an informal way to say you. We can also write the question word Dugu, which means who. Next up is Tikut. T. T. Ta. Ta. To. To. Tia. Tia. Tio. Tio. Tu. 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 When you look at the shape, think about the first line as the dirt and the second line as the path of somebody digging. Tikut. Here's another important question word in Korean. Odi, where? Remember that in our last lesson, we added one more stroke to kiok in order to make the aspirated version kiok. We will do the same thing with tikut. Adding one more stroke to make the aspirated version tiut. T T Ta Ta To To Tia Tia Tio Tio Tu Tu To To Tu Tu Tio Tio Tu Tu you can probably guess the meaning of the next word after hearing it. Kita. It means guitar. Korean has many of these words that come from English with a slight change in pronunciation, such as sticker, artist, and toki. One more consonant today, and that's real. Li Li Ra La Ro Ro Lia Lia Lio Lio Lu 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 its pronunciation falls somewhere between the English L and R. Think about this shape like a marble rolling down a track. Real. Here's one more pronoun that you can write today. Uri, which means we or us. You can use this word for both formal and informal situations. And here's the Korean word for radio which is almost exactly like English. Let's finish this lesson up with a short dialogue. Yep, you now know enough hunger in vocabulary words to read and write a short exchange between two people. We've learned these words in the previous lessons. Can you read this? Let's look at the first sentence. The first two syllables are di, which means where. We learned that one earlier today. The next two syllables are from last lesson, and they mean I'm going, Kayo. But if you add a question mark and read the last syllable with a rising tone, the whole sentence means where are you going, Odi Kayo. The second sentence ends with the same two characters, but without a question mark. Kayo. And the first two characters is Hyuga, the Korean word for vacation that we learned last lesson. So what do you think the sentence means? Hyuga gayo. I'm going on vacation. Wow, after only five lessons, you've come a long way. Just think what you will know in another five lessons. But don't forget to take things step by step. 
reviewing along the way. When you are ready, I'll see you in the next lesson where you will learn even more consonants. See you next time. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요. 안녕하세요 여러분. KoreanClass101.com 하나하나 한글 시리즈의 에이미입니다. Hi everybody, I'm Amy and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul on KoreanClass101.com. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In the last lesson, we learned these four consonants. You now know well over half of the characters in written Korean. And we will learn another three today. Ready? Let's go! Our first character is really easy to remember. It's just a square. Mium. Mi. Mi. Ma. Ma. Mia. Mia. Mo. Mo. Mio. Mio. Mu. 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 Mew, mew, mo, mo, mew, mew. To remember the sound of this character, you could think about the shape of a monitor or an open mouth. Try to read this. Body. This means head. Let's look at this character again. Think of this like a box. Now press the top of it down until the air inside it is under more pressure. What does an mm sound like when it's under more pressure? B. P. P. Pa. Pa. Pia. Pia. Pa. Pa. Pyo, pyo, pu, pu, po, po, pyo, pyo, pu, pu, pyo, pyo. Here's a word you will often hear on Korean TV. Pa po. This means. Full. It can either be playful or rude depending on how it's said. So be careful. Let's go back to our box under pressure. If we add any more pressure, it might explode. And then it would look like this. What's a B sound like with even more pressure? P. 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 Pa, pa, pia, pia, pa, pa, pia, pia, pu, pu, po, po, pio, pio, pu, pu, pio, pio. Try reading this word. Pibu. This means skin. And here is a phrase that you might have to use in Korea. Apayo. It means I'm sick or it hurts. You can use some words from past lessons to make this sentence more advanced. In the last lesson, we learned the word where. Odi. You can add this to the phrase and get 어디 아파요? Literally, it means where does it hurt? And you already know a few body part words. Remember the word for head? 머리 So, how would you say your head hurts? We can say 머리 아파요 My head hurts Or I have a headache Any other body parts we know? It's a little strange, but we just learned the word for skin. Pibu, pibu apayo. My skin hurts. 
Nice work! You might have started watching to learn the Korean writing system, but you're also getting a jump start on general Korean knowledge. If you haven't tried out the audio lessons on koreanclass101.com, now's a great chance to try out some real-life conversations. And you will learn the final three consonants in the next lesson. You are only one lesson away from knowing all the unique shapes in Korean. After that, it's just a matter of positioning those shapes around to create different words. Be sure not to miss the next lesson of Hana Hana Hangul. See you next time. 여러분 다음에 만나요. 안녕하세요 여러분. KoreanClass101.com 하나 하나 한글 시리즈의 에이미입니다. Hi everybody. I'm Amy, and welcome to Hana Hana Hangul on KoreanClass101.com. The fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Hangul, the Korean alphabet. In the last lesson, we learned these three consonants, only three more basic characters left. And we will learn them all in this lesson. All three of today's characters are related in shape and in sound. We will start with the simplest one, 시읒. 시. 시. 사. 사. 서. 서. 샤. 샤. 셔. 셔. 스. 스. 소. 소. 수. 수. 쇼. 쇼. 슈. 슈. It's pronounced s. And you can think of the shape like an upside down seesaw. Here's a short sentence which means I buy. You can make this sentence more complex by putting a noun in front of it. So, note. Is note. I buy notes. Would be note. Means milk. So, I buy milk. Would be uyu sayo. We will learn some new nouns in this lesson that we can put into this pattern. The next character is like 시읒 with a line at the top. And it's pronounced 즈 or 츠. 지 지. 자 자. 저 저. 자 자. 저 저. 쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔쯔
Chima Sayo. I buy a skirt. You've learned all the basic characters, but your hunger journey doesn't end here. You now have all the raw materials, but there's still more to learn about putting things together. Don't worry, you've made it this far, so just stick with me a few more lessons, and you will know everything there is to know about hunger. In the next lesson, We'll do a thorough review of the last six lessons and smooth out any problems you may be having, and learn a few points about pronunciation. See you next time. 여러분 다음에 다시 만나요.